Welcome back what? to story time with Pony. Pony, you get to tell a story from your youth. I get to tell a story from my youth? Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to tell an honest story for those of you who don't know. I cannot. Alright, so for those of you who don't know, I am legally blind. I have dented my like opioid bitch. Bitch. I'm just kidding. Shut up. <gasps> wait, uh, wait, wait. Before you continue, you got to redraw your um, profile picture. You see, you're off on the shading department. Sorry. On what? Like on the gaming snow pony? The sh yeah, no. Like on your profile picture, the sh the shading's off. But we'll get into that later. Continue your story. I didn't even draw it. Continue your story, stupid. I mean, person. Continue your story. <laughs> okay, so really, society like kind of ignores us, and especially in our That's not true, people. but okay. You wanna fight me? <laughs> How are you ignored by society? You just get looked at more. Anyway, continue. Actually, no. We a lot of people look at us strange. You might say that they're blind in the blind. <laughs> continue. <laughs> like, like, are you not? Are you going to keep like interrupting me? I'm like the host that's a dick. But anyway, continue. You're being a douche. Okay. So as I was saying, as a kid, uh, my thing is dense of myopia. I will lose my vision eventually. Ha. Huh. Possibly. Just kidding. What? Nothing. Mm hmm. You'll figure it out on the recording. Continue. Gosh, darn it. Continue. Darn Minecraft. I mean, you ain't gonna on. Darn Minecraft. I know. <laughs> Wait, Minecraft so, isn't the game, or Minecraft isn't Sherlock's home brother? Dun dun dun. You mean Minecraft? Continue. Okay, so in Tell. elementary school, <laughs> I was. <laughs> on. Can, can I? Can I talk? Yeah. Please. Will you interrupt me? Speak, woman. Okay. So, as a child, elementary schooler, you say one thing, I'm gonna murder you. Um, <laughs> I. I didn't say anything. You just said <laughs> Shut up. Fuck. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> racist woman. I'm not being racist. You're interrupting me. Okay. Then you, so... whore. <laughs> continue, 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 woman with your tales of origin. Okay, so uh, I was born December. Oh, um, really? You were born? <laughs> no, I wasn't born. I just appeared from the heavens. Just appeared from a fire hydrant Poof. one day. Um, <coughs> sorry. <gasps> so, <laughs> the age of six, shut up. Uh, I'll murder you. When I get, when I Sidus. leave this program. Sidus is what you are. Right, continue. I'm not Sidus, you're Sidus. Continue, woman. Okay. So pretty much, um, I was born December uh, fifth. That's all I'm gonna say. Is this relevant? This is a story in any way. This is the story of a blind person. Oh, I don't so, want to hear uh, your entire origin story. I just want to hear. You're not, you know, <laughs> a couple things. I was born on July 24th, and I started writing the origin trail when I was 17. All right, continue. <laughs> Can you like be quiet so I may continue? You know what? So that's how you leave. I just littered. In my own room. You monster. Okay, so at the age of six months old, I was diagnosed with degen degenerative myopia with nystagmus. Ha. I'm and kidding. <laughs> ever since... Screw you. Ever since I was six months old, I have been wearing glasses. Me too. Not really, though. Just kidding. Like me. So... You, are you are you gonna interrupt me? I wasn't saying anything. Well, you said something like a minute ago. Okay, so I was diagnosed with the dens of myopia and nystagmus. Uh, nystagmus, pretty much rapid eye movement. Uh, I don't feel like explaining the dens of myopia. Uh, so pretty much, I cannot have laser eye surgery, and my vision will probably never get better. Wait, <laughs> why can't you have what? laser eye surgery? I can't have laser eye surgery. So you. So you need to get married young, or you'll be alone and blind forever. 
<laughs> what is your logic? So, how long do the doctors give you at what age until you're completely blind? It's not, like, it's not a dated point. Like, with definitive myopia, it could be, like, next year and 50 years. You never know. Five minutes from now? But, and, like, you know, I I might not lose my vision. I might lose my vision. Uh, from what the eye doctor said, it, my vision is kind of stable right now. Uh, it actually got worse recently. Yeah, you're going to so, go blind. But anyway, it's any who this story. <laughs> so, let me explain one thing I cannot see. There we go. Uh, my right eye is weaker than my left. Oh, me too. So, I'm currently at the Department of the Blind, like possibly mentioned in a past thing. Uh, I'm, I use a cane. I'm learning Braille. Uh, I lived my whole life like this, and I have never gotten like a special accommodations until recently. Sixth grade, I received Zoom text which is on my computer. I do use it, but not that often, because it doesn't really help that often. Uh, most days. recently, a computer program, which ma can magnify your computer screen. I feel like in the technology era, uh, blind people get a lot more help than they did back when there was no technology. Because there's such a reason for yes. and stuff like now. Uh, the so when Ms. Johnson complains that... about technology, you can tell her that it's helping you in your cause. <laughs> Fun fact, Braille was invented the uh, Braille was invented and it was based off of something the military used. Fun fact, my foot hurts. Fun fact. Not shut fun up. for me. Oh, bitch. Fine, continue on with your tale of depressing. <laughs> shut up. You know, I could tell um, just a sad origin story about but instead about a brain, you know. <laughs> shut up. Can I tell my story? Okay, fine, bitch, go. You know what? So, Forget this. I'm. You know what I'm calling Bond right now. Dude, are you seriously calling him after all he's done? No. <laughs> Damn it. So pretty much, um, yeah, I'm getting mobility training, which is when you use the cane. <sighs> what was I? Oh yeah. It's so complicated to use a cane. You need so, training teacher, for it. So teacher, so I'm up. Shut up. So most of the time, Bitch. I have normal class. It's so delayed. You've continued talking for like 13 seconds, then you just stop. There you continue. So I, for some reason, with my diagnosis, they're like, oh, she doesn't need anything special. She's oh, fine. Oh, she they're can a read. bunch of bitches. That's what they are. Exactly. So, what you should do one day. You should just wake up and say, I've gone completely blind. No. So yeah, pretty much. The nuts, all of them. So pretty much. I um, can get my... you a Rice Krispie treat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sneak can it I in. Can I speak? Okay. So pretty much, I've been put in normal classes because they're like, oh, it doesn't matter, uh, your diagnosis and stuff. You can read. So I have never been. Um, suggested for learning Braille, uh, so pretty much, Justin has seen the- oh, excuse me, Snowy has seen this. No, I really don't care what you call um, Justin I... Snowy. It even says in my about um, section in my real name, so it doesn't matter. It's not like it's I'm private. really close to my papers, because I can't see. What? You- continue- I'm really close to my paper- I'm close to my papers, because I can't see them. Grunt, that makes uh, like, the smallest- Shut up. The smallest font I can read is 14 point. Oh, you're ugly. I mean, I mean, what? <laughs> I'm a curd. I thought you were my friend. <laughs> that was funny as hell. <laughs> I mean, you can continue reading now. Record that, record that. Oh, it's already recording. <laughs> <laughs> It just could be like in the middle of the video. Record that, record that. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> continue. Still still recording. We're at the nine up. minute mark now. Continue. Nine minute. It hasn't even gotten past the modern point. Continue. So, pretty much, um, the most hated question that I have in amongst the blind community is how many fingers am I holding up? Oh, uh, that's funny as hell. Would you I, like I think to I did that why? too. Because we're blind. We don't have a concussion. I know, but you gotta remember that tall thing. 
Remember it's hospital. There it is! Just kidding, I'm blind. Where's your hot for it? Remember that scene in Avatar? They yeah, scene like, of the entire series. He, like, so I, the program I'm at now, we're all blind, and we make these jokes to each other that normally would make us angry if, like, someone who has sight says it. So, like, as a joke, we'd go, we'd say, hey, um, hey, man, how many fingers am I holding up? And we'd give, like, a normal response. And, like, the here... Fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna stick my little finger up at you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over to where you live. I'm gonna take my new phone. I'm gonna turn I'm it not, on and I'm gonna show you all my apps. Feel I'm threatened. not even at home. I don't care. I'm at the I, Virginia I Department I, of the Blind. I can walk. <laughs> I'm not blind like, like you. Continue with your story. It's gonna ruin you. Continue so, with your story. Yeah, blind people, we make jokes amongst ourselves. We make fun of ourselves, but we will get mad. Me too, like, I'm blind. See, I got glasses like, later. earlier today, a friend of mine, who is also blind, had asked, Hey, I had said something, like, oh, I can't see the clock. And they asked, well, are you blind? I said, no, I'm not blind, I shouldn't be here. <laughs> so we joke about that and stuff together. But, like, when someone else says it, and, like, you know, they, when someone else asks, what, are you blind? We're gonna say, yes. Most of us will say yes. Sounds fucking lame we'll just ignore me. you. And it's annoying because, like, there are a few people who are like, oh, okay, white cane, blind, lovely. And there are some people who don't even Wait. understand what a cane is. Why? If you have a white cane, you're blind. I thought it was so, always just a black sunglasses. Oh, ignore my question, bitch. I see how it is. Normally white. Oh, okay. I thought you were For example, there is this like driving thing. I think it's called like the White Cane Act. Well, it involves drivers. I don't feel like going into the details, nor can I remember half of it. <laughs> Continued Zach Bacon. What? Okay. Continue. I guess. Hiroshima. So pretty much, um, people like I was out in public with my uh, O and M teacher, and I got some pretty weird looks like what am i an alien i just have this white cane in my hand helping me navigate like seriously people and i thought it was hilarious <laughs> and earlier today uh, we were learning how to use public transportation non-visually and i was trying to put my bus pass into the thing and the bus driver had grabbed my hand and put it where it should be I wanted Did to say, miss? excuse me, sir. Did you miss? No, I was trying to find it. Like I said, I could not see. We're doing this non-visually. So I kept, you know, I was kind of feeling around. And the bus driver grabs my hand, puts it where it should be. And then I grab it again. I didn't say anything at the time because I didn't want to be rude. And pretty much, he denied me the opportunity to be independent. Hang on, I'm gonna, a lot of I'm gonna sneak in a little mini story right here. So, I have brain problems, so in elementary school I would always be like in little mental classes where they put anyone who has a problem, just put them in that class. Yeah, that's that's how they'll learn. God dang it. But, um, so there was one dude in there who was blind. And we're not like blind blind, he was able to see good enough like you. And I saw him across the classroom today, and I gave him the little peace. I have What are you saying? I gave him the little peace symbol. That boy across the classroom, he says, "Screw you." I, I guess he thought that I was giving him like how many fingers I'm holding up, but really I was just saying like. Because saying peace. that's what we get a lot. <laughs> we get the how many fingers am I holding up question. Like, but I just meant to say peace. I just meant to say peace. Or maybe from a blind person perspective, it looked like I was holding up a middle finger or something, I don't know. <laughs> well, I, on? like, for me, I can't, sometimes I can't see hand gestures or facial expressions. Oh. Oh, that must be, yeah, that is pretty hard for you. If somebody says, like, hi to you, 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 they think that you're, you think that they're flicking you off, and you're like, man, here's what I'm gonna go do now. Yeah, like, if they're far there. away, and I only see, like, one finger near the middle of their hand, I'm gonna be like, why are they flicking me off? Or somebody could give you be, be giving you a love a loving look, and they think that they, and you think that they hate you. That's worse. That's yeah. Yeah, because I can't tell facial expressions. Like I walk to my bus stop every morning. Uh, I have walked slowly because I didn't have my cane, and pretty much 
this driver just kind of beeped his horn at me and flicked me off. And I, I didn't know what I did. I was just trying to cross that part where the road turns. And I'm just like, what did I do wrong? And then the bus, and like the person, not the bus driver, the person in the car, like, always around his window and says, hey, what are you, blind? I say, yes, I am. And he honked at me again and I said, well, hurry up. So yeah, I ran, I tripped, I fell, because I, I couldn't see the ground. And fun fact, when I walk, without a cane, I'm looking down, trying to figure out, okay, is there a hole? What's in front of me? And, like, you know. And one of the things, like, people are like, oh, you're blind. Here, let me let me grab your arm and pull you to what your destiny is. Such an aggressive place, too. Let me, like, grab your cone. Not even, what's it called, the bicep. Let me just grab your bicep and yank you somewhere. Yeah, like, Instead hey. of, like, grabbing their wrist, your hand, or something. Nope, let's just grab their fucking bicep. Let's like, go. I have asked for directions and places. I say, hey, can you help me find, where is this place? They said, oh, it's, can you see the sign? I'm like, no, I can't. I have a visual impairment. They'll grab my arm, and they pulled me towards where it is. Like I said before, I didn't want to say anything at the time, but, you know. And I had to be in that building again, so they denied me that learning opportunity of knowing where to go, and pretty much, once they grabbed and started pulling me, that took away my control. And pretty much, I had no choice but the hand that I had control over to them. And blind people, you'd be surprised. We kind of, here at this program, independence is key. Ooh. You're not allowed to help. Yeah, so pretty much, today during my O&M session, down sure in public in the city, point. there is, listen up. <laughs> it's going on for a very story. long time. This might have to be Children a part gather two. around. So pretty much, uh, I was trying to find the bus door, and the person was about to grab me. But my own instructor said, no, let her find it so she can learn how to be more independent and this will be a good learning experience. Hey, a student came up to us and asked, is this some kind of project? We said, no, we, we are with the VRCBVI and this is a learning experience. What can happened? Can you hear me? What happened? My earbuds fell out. Oh, of course they did. Lovely, and all right. And with that, you want to end for one here? The moral of this story is next time you see a blind person, unless they ask for help, don't touch them. That was a really long story just for that to be the moral of it. <laughs> well, I'm very mad, and I've had experiences with this. No one else cares. This thing, I know it's horrible, but that's... <laughs> That is one thing that never goes through anybody's mind when they think about helping. Like, if they're trying to help, you have to understand that they're trying to be polite or whatever. But, you know, when you just come up to me and I don't ask you for help, and you don't say... So if you don't come up to me and say, hey, do you need some help? Or say, hey, uh, I can help you if you need me to. They just came up to me and, like, grabbed me. They didn't ask permission. They didn't say, oh, hey, do you need help? I didn't go up to them and say, hey, can you help me out with this? I think we're gonna, really? end. I think we're gonna end it here. Okay. Don't see a story going anywhere. I'm kidding. <laughs> you said the moral of the story. Video is ending. It's at 18 minutes. It's your video. You say the goodbye. Bye! Gotta do the kiss. Ma